Welcome to the Analytical Scientist New Video Application Notes with Marx International. This video application note is Comparison of the Aroma Profiles of Hops by TDGC Tough MS with Laura McGregor. Before we begin, I'll quickly introduce Laura. Dr. Laura McGregor is the Product Marketing Manager for Time of Flight Mass Spectrometry at Marx International, a specialist manufacturer of analytical thermal desorption and instrumentation, associated sampling equipment, and time of flight mass spec. Laura gained her PhD in environmental forensics from the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow, where she used two-dimensional gas chromatography with time of flight mass spectrometry to chemically fingerprint environmental contaminants. Laura, over to you. Thank you very much, Rich. Now, this application is going to explore the use of thermal desorption coupled with gc ms for comparing the aroma profile of hops. Now, the beer industry faces a number of challenges when it comes to aroma profiling of its products and the raw materials. For example, strict quality control must be adhered to to minimise batch-to-batch variations. And in research and development, confident analysis is also required when you're attempting to engineer new aromas or flavours or when, I, when trying to identify an odour taint. However, the aroma profiles can be very complex and because of the low odour thresholds, the key components might only be found at trace levels. Finally, there may be hundreds of terpenoids present with very similar spectra, making it difficult to identify these individual compounds without having to rely on retention indices. And this study investigates the combination of Marx International's TD and Time of Flight mass spec for generating comprehensive aroma profiles. In this case, we're using the microchamber thermal extractor for dynamic headspace extraction of roughly one gram of crumbled hops cones. The VOCs were extracted onto sorbent tubes simultaneously from individually sealed chambers. The sorbent tubes were then placed on a TD100 autosampler unit, ready for analysis by TDGC TOF MS. In this case, we are using the Marx Benchtoff Select instrument for sensitive detection with reference quality spectra exhibiting no mass discrimination that is found with other TOFs. Finally, TOFDS software was used for near real-time data processing to speed up the analytical workflow. This means that the chromatogram is automatically integrated, deconvolved and library searched all while the sample is still acquiring. Here we've analysed three different brands of European hop cones, Fuggle, Goldings and Target. You can see from the chromatograms that a very similar profile was obtained for each, with the same major components just detected in slightly different ratios. However, there was one important difference in that beta-farnesine, labelled as peak number 5 here, was only identified in the Fuggle sample, possibly adding a fuller flavour to the resulting beer. However, when we zoom in on the y-axis, we benefit from Benchtoff sensitivity and we can identify many more trace components and noticeable differences between these samples. From this, it's clear that the Fuggle and Goldings are more similar in content, while Target shows considerable differences. All three varieties do differ in the relative abundances of each of these compounds, a factor that will result in their characteristic aroma. And two sulfur compounds were only found in Target, and these thioates can cause undesirable cooked vegetable or cheese-like aromas, while 2-methylpropanol was detected in both Fuggle and Target, which is known to cause a disagreeable wine-like aroma. So it's important to be able to confidently identify these potential odour taints. Now, while the terpenes, such as caryophylline or myrcene, are found in very high concentrations in the original hops aroma, they may only be in trace amounts in the final beer product and within a very complex matrix. So it's useful to have a complementary technique to aid the identification of these compounds. So in this study, we have applied soft electron ionisation using a novel ion source design that is exclusively available with the Benchtoff Select. It enables improved molecular ions with reduced fragmentation without any hardware changes or the loss in sensitivity that has long been associated with reducing the ionisation energy. And the preservation of some of this fragmentation, as you can see 
from the middle spectra on the slide means that we can improve the confidence when it comes to isomer speciation, unlike what we would be able to do with chemical ionization. So to take a quick look at a couple of examples that are relevant to the beer industry, firstly we see alpha humulene has a reduction in fragmentation at 12 eV, plus an increase in the molecular ion, helping it to be identified within the matrix. Next, we see that caryophylline changes dramatically at 12 eV, with a huge emphasis of the molecular ion and other structurally significant peaks, while reducing the ions that are common across entire chemical classes. This can help with the identification of individual isomers, which are going to be impossible to speciate by chemical ionization or even a high-resolution MS. And finally, farnesine shows the same enhancements, meaning that these structurally significant ions could be used for quantitation instead of the common ones that may suffer from interferences. And if you're interested in seeing any more soft DI spectra, you can log on to our library at selectev.com to search for your compounds of interest. And if they aren't present, you can even request that compounds be added. But to summarise, this application has shown that the combination of TD preconcentration plus highly sensitive benchtoff detection gives a comprehensive aroma profile as required by QC and R&D labs within the beer industry. Near real-time data processing applied in TOF-DS software gives as much information from the data profiles as possible using deconvolution and library screening with minimal operator effort. And finally, soft DI with the Benchtoff Select can provide complementary spectra to aid identification of isomers. Now, thank you very much for listening to this application note. And if you would like to know more about this topic, please download application note 535 from our website. Or alternatively, you can contact our application specialists using the details shown here.